everyone. I'm here at Longines with the head of product, Giuseppe. Great to see you again. Great to see you, Teddy. Welcome in saint -Imier. Good to be here, and I'm even happier to be here based on what I see in front of me. So what we're going to do is walk through some of the newer products, specifically to the aviation side mm -hmm. of the, you know, the theme, because I know this is an important pillar for Longines. So these are newer releases for 2023, and I already know people are going to be very excited about what's in front of us. So I want to begin with a model that last year was unveiled mm -hmm. at 42 millimeters. And from my perspective, it was one of the best watch releases of the year. But there still were some requests for some different options and you delivered here. So I want to kick us off with the new Zulu Times, new size and new colorway. Yes, we listen to our customers. We listen to the comments, this is very important, <laughs> but uh, we had this already in the pipe, to be honest. We launched the 42 millimeter, it has been a game changer for us. Uh, very important product, very successful product. So in 2023, we launched the new size, the 39 millimeter Zulu Time, Longin Spirit Zulu Time. So we have several execution. Uh, we know that the green bezel with gilt uh, Arabic figures has been the, the most successful one, mm -hmm. the most attractive one, because it combines a vintage look with a modern twist. It was really appreciated. So we launched this uh, color execution, the blue as well and the black. So this, the three color execution mm -hmm. on stainless steel and on strap in 39 millimeter. So it's a, a reduction on size, both in terms of thickness, uh, it's slimmer than the 42. Obviously the lug to lug, it's shorter. So very uh, ergonomic on the wrist. Uh, and we can obviously uh, aim to ladies customers, ladies mm -hmm. wrist. Uh, so that's, uh, um, I would say, a very important uh, extension on the line. If you put it on your yes, wrist, please. you will really you don't appreciate have to encourage me. <laughs> this is amazing. This is fantastic. It's only about the size, but I mean, it, it brings the product to another level. Let's say we can really reach collectors because the watch is much more uh, proportioned, but we keep the essence of the watch, uh, the, the GMT function, the quick switch system for the bracelet. We still mm -hmm. have the quick switch system, mm -hmm. the fine adjustment clasp on the leather strap. So all the characteristic of the, the Zulu 42, you have it on the 39 millimeter. So it's a very nice addition. True GMT movement, COSC certified, up movement tech as well. All that's still continued here and yeah. it's thinner and the lug to lug is more condensed. I think this is a knockout. This is amazing. This is, going, this is going to do very well. This is exactly what people are expecting, I think, and wanted. Yeah. So it's great to see it. Now you have the three pillars of colors, but you're also in unison with that releasing mm -hmm a new colorway, and not just a colorway, a new material way, we should probably exactly. say. Exactly. So we are introducing uh, on the 39 millimeter and on the 42 millimeter as well, mm -hmm. a steel and gold execution. Uh, so we wanted to bring some precious alloy on the, on the Spirit collection, which is very much inspired by the, the, the pioneers of Longines, but you know, we wanted to bring a kind of chic, uh, interpretation, but with a very particular color code, color scheme. Uh, as you can see on this product, we have a yellow gold, 18 karat yellow gold bezel and crown. Mm -hmm. And the novelty as well is the ceramic. We introduced for the first time a brown ceramic, so it's a new color uh, pigment for the ceramic for Longines, which gives a very nice warm uh, overall execution to the product especially paired with this brown, brown strap. It's beautiful. I love the, the gilt combination with the gold. It's fantastic. And another distinction for those that are just seeing, this is not just gold tone, this is true gold. True gold, yeah, 18 karat yellow gold. Yeah. So that is a big distinction to make because we're talking about a price range where this is typically not seen. So this is now being available in 39 and the 42 as well. Correct. So this is going to roll back into the 42 yeah. when you're unveiling this. And we really wanted to, to go deep into details. Uh, we adapted, uh, for example, the date uh, window, the mm -hmm. date figure, sorry, the, the numerals are in, in beige, cream, mm -hmm. really to follow all the aesthetic of the watch. And if you look as well on the bezel, the, the lacquer on the bezel is beige as well to have really something really tonal, but very uh, qualitative. It's beautiful. And I was telling you before we started rolling is, this brand needs to be less humble about some of your history. 
when it comes to GMTs, pilot aviation watches. I mean, you were pioneers at that. I mean, I learned that first two uh, time zone pocket watch was created by you, mm -hmm. which is, you know, most people don't think about it. They think about the GMT, you talk about the 19, maybe the late 30s with some of the world time innovations and maybe the 50s, but mm -hmm. You were doing this at the beginning of the 20th century when it comes to displaying two time zones. So I just want to make that as a distinction for people. Uh, that, that's true. We have, we have so many incredible stories in, in, the, in our archives, which is we are not inventing stuff. We like to, to take inspiration to mm -hmm. tell these stories because most of the people don't know the, the, all the innovations in the, the rich history of Longines. So through these products, which are, which are totally contemporary, we want to, to, to express and to share all the innovation of Longines. So it's, it's really a, a great inspiration for us every day at Longines to work with our brand heritage department to, to find really uh, gems basically in the, in the archives. We find every day some new stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, and for the Zulu, the, the starting point was the, the famous uh, one special piece from 1925, the, the Zulu, the square, rectangular square, mm -hmm. um, uh, watch with the, the flag. little flag on, yes. the, on the dial. Moving right along, because that's a perfect segue to another innovation that you're famous for, the flyback. The flyback. So this is the much-awaited uh, product. Hmm. Um, I will tell you a, a short story. Please. Uh, back in 2019, uh, we asked ourselves, with, with my colleague, what would be the dream watch? What, for Longines, what would be the dream watch to, to, to launch? And it was obvious that the, the most relevant, the most important innovation, we have so many, but the most important was the flyback complication that Longines invented in 1935. Uh, Longines fulfilled a patent in 1935 for the flyback. So Longines is the inventor of this complication. And we were like, we, we have to, to bring back the flyback. We have to bring it back. So we started to redevelop the movement back in 2019 uh, with the flyback complication. And then uh, it was obvious to us, for us to launch it in the Spirit collection. Mm -hmm. Why? Because the flyback function was used by pilots for uh, visual navigation uh, to avoid any deviation in the navigation. Mm -hmm. okay? So it was almost vital for the, the pilots back then. And as you know, the Spirit Collection is the collection where we tell the stories of the pioneers. Um, that's why we introduce it on the Spirit Collection. So we are very proud to launch this uh, 42 millimeter chronograph on the Spirit Collection with the flyback complication. It's beautiful. And also talking about an anomaly in the price range, there are not many flybacks, if any, available. And you also have the history of the first patent yeah. for ever producing a flyback. So that's also important to mention. Uh, so you have history in this regard. Uh, for the movement itself, COSC certified. Yes, uh, as per all the Spirit Collection, it's chronometer uh, officially certified movement, yeah. Power reserve is? Power reserve is at uh, 68 very hours, nice. which is uh, a very good power reserve. Uh, silicon balance spring. And um, column wheel, column wheel, of course. And we have uh, we upgraded uh, on this product two other components: um, the anchor mm -hmm. and the escapement wheel with uh, anti-magnetic uh, material, so that we can certify this watch as magnetic resistant. Hmm. But Longin goes further by exceeding approximately ten times the norm, which prevails sixty Gauss. So we are between 600 and 800 Gauss magnetic resistant with this movement. Fantastic. On this product. And then does the movement, I mean, I know you can't disclose for the future, but does it give possibilities to different sizing and different options? I mean, you're trying to build this as a pillar within the collection going forward. So very similar to how we saw the Zulu, you want this flyback to be a, a key yeah. pillar for you know, your uh, storytelling, correct? Definitely. We, we start with this 42 millimeter, which is really uh, a good size in terms of pilot watches. Sure. You know, readability is important. Uh, so we worked on this 42 millimeter. Obviously, this is the first product. So mm -hmm. we will launch. We have several uh, developments in the pipe, mm -hmm. um, but we we uh, we are happy with this, with this execution. I think the proportion are uh, totally we worked. We worked a lot on the proportion of the watch. We know thickness is very is key yeah. uh, on chronographs. Uh, so we worked on that to have a nice proportion between the bezel, the case body, and the case back. 
Uh, and if you consider the overall thickness, if you put it on the wrist, it's very nice, even for small wrists like mine. The lug to lug is quite good, so you have a very nice uh, ergonomics on the wrist. On the strap, it wears pretty true to size. The thickness, I mean, it's definitely a thicker watch, but it does wear way thinner than what it would suggest based on mm -hmm. seeing the numbers. So I would suggest anybody try this on before you make a judgment for sure. Yeah. Beautiful. Then if you look closely on the, on the dial, eh, we uh, wanted to pro provide very nice details. Uh, we have, if you look at the hands, the applied numerals, the chamfer on the on the Reo and the sub-dials, we developed a very specific bronze PVD. It's a dark gold PVD hmm. execution to have this kind of uh, gold, but still very, um, uh, very discreet, very muted, refined, yes. muted, yes. Which, which makes it a bit prestige, but still very uh, utilitarian. Great detail. Okay. Obviously no date. Yes. Uh, this is important because if you look back at the older the, the flyback chronograph from Longines from the 40s, the 30s, and the 50s, it was the, the key design element was to have two sub dials and no date. Mm -hmm. Always two, two counters, no date. So we wanted to, uh, to bring back this as well. And for those not familiar with the flyback, what that allows is not the stop reset, just goes right back to the starting position. So there's no lag in being able to time different events. Mm -hmm. So that was crucial, as you're mentioning, when you're yeah. navigating uh, back in the day. So that's why this is crucial. It's also difficult to manufacture. Absolutely, yeah. And um, no, no, that's a, that's a, it was crucial and, and very important for pilots. Um, so we wanted to, to bring back this. It was quite a, a, an important development for us, huh, for Longines. Uh, we want to step up in terms of complication. So this is the first one uh, following the, the Zulu one and, and we are really proud about, uh, about this product. And then to close here, one final watch collection. So this is something you're bringing back, new form, reinterpreted, looking to the past. So could you walk us through this new collection here? So this new collection is a very particular design. This is inspired and it's called, actually, the Longines Pilot Mayatek. Mm -hmm. um, so it's a watch inspired by a, a unique product that we have here, we brought from our museum. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a pilot watch uh, developed by Longines for the Czech army. Uh, and back then, again in 1935, Longines uh, fulfilled the patent for the design of the watch. Uh, as you can see, a very particular design, typical pilot watch, but the, the key feature of this product was the, the rotating bezel mm -hmm. with an inner index that you can see here, useful as a starting time indicator. So this was the, the base of our project. And we, we wanted to redevelop this product and particularly this key feature of having a turning bezel with an inner index. We, we often think that turning bezel have been invented for diving purpose. Mm -hmm. uh, in fact, it was for pilots back then. And Longines uh, patented as well the first turning bezel with a scale on it. The first? The first, actually the Lindbergh. Mm -hmm. with the first turning bezel with a scale engraved on the bezel. So Longin was a pioneer, he is a pioneer about uh, this turning bezel system. But the, the, let's say back then, this watch was not water resistant. So we took the challenge to uh, redevelop this technology with a water resistant watch, 100 meter water resistant. So here is the new design. Hmm. As you can see, it's a strong and very a bold design, angular case, angular yes. case, inspired by the original one, but really reinterpreted. So it's a 43 millimeter watch uh, with a typical pilot uh, dial, and as you can see, we have again the turning fluted bezel with an inner index. And then the walking through the process of it. So you would use this for. Timing, would you line this up with the minute hand? Yes, is that, is that exactly, process? exactly. And what's interesting is that you do not have any steps. Mm -hmm. It's a smooth turning bezel so that you can precisely align the index to the minute. There's just a slight little tactic, like ta you know, feedback. Kind of volt yes. uh, feel. Tactile yeah. feedback yeah. you get, but other yeah. than that, it's very smooth. Totally. So you can freely rotate to get that as precise as possible. Mm -hmm. And then, can you also talk about the movement here? Um, what is so the, the Yeah, is our movement, the sub-second movement we have in the catalog. Uh, 
uh, our L893, mm -hmm. but this is the 0.6. Why? Because we upgraded, same as the, the chrono flyback, the two components that makes this product uh, magnetic resistant. Mm. And last but not least, we certify this watch as a chronometer, but we certify the full watch. Fully cased up. Fully cased up, mm -hmm. exactly. So as you know, it requires more work mm -hmm. uh, on, the, on the movement before casing uh, the movement to, uh, to, the, to the case. So very accurate product, magnetic resistant, very nice uh, and technologic turning bezel. And we have uh, nice details as well. As you can see on the side of the case, we have a applied plate with the engraved date of the patent, 1935. Mm -hmm. If you turn the watch, there is a particular uh, element uh, that, uh, to be honest, we still don't know why <laughs> we, it is like this, but it was a so uh, cool detail on this product. The engraving is 90 degree oriented compared to a, a, a normal engraving on the case back of a watch. Ah, yes. You know? It goes uh, from 12 to 6. Yes. Yeah. And so we moved, we kept that, uh, and we kept this kind of re really military font, strong font that you have on the, on the engraving on the case back. And you can find, uh, obviously, chronometer and magnetic resistance. Huh. And then also, I mean, the dial, I can also recognize that the uh, numerals are slightly raised, yes. really great detail. So, numerals slightly raised, uh, Superluminova applied on it, obviously Superluminova on the, on the, on the triangle. Mm -hmm. that you have on the bezel. Oh, nice. Very nice. So Timing. very good luminescent and clean, clean dial as much as possible. No uh, hourglass, winged hourglass logo. It's just the Longin military execution. And if you look, it's quite slim. Mm -hmm. So it's a important watch, but very ergonomic as well. This is very important for us that when you put the watch on your wrist, you can wear it. Mm -hmm. Basically, it's very important. Yeah, you saw that theme with the Ultracron last year, and yeah. I'm thinking about that, even though it is a larger watch, just trying to make it work. And I appreciate that. I know other people appreciate that, because we want to offer cases for a variety of risks, but if you can make it thinner, I think people do always like yeah. that. So that's fantastic. Well, Giuseppe, thank you very much for this walkthrough. This is only scratching the surface I know that you have for this year, but for the aviation side of things, this is a history that you should be very proud of. You should scream mm -hmm. it from the hilltops or from a <laughs> plane, I don't know, wherever the loudest and the highest place you can go, but you should be very proud of it. Uh, I think the Zulu times are gonna be fantastic. Flyback is very interesting. And uh, also just leaning into your history here, I think is uh, just showcasing that there's just a lot to get lost in and discover. So thank you very much. Thank you, Teddy. It's, it's a, pleasure. my pleasure. Thank, thank you, you again. Bye, Bye everybody.